Across the universe, galaxies are at war. Their main weapon? Gravity. It tears the combatants into weird and wonderful shapes. Our galaxy didn't escape the mayhem. It's peppered with battle scars. The overall shape of the Milky Way is a flat disk of stars and gas. Except recently, we have found out that at the edges, it's actually warped a little bit like the brim of a fedora. The stars actually dip down below the plane on one side and dip above it on the other. We think the attacker was one of our satellites, a galaxy that orbits the Milky Way like the moon orbits the Earth. It's called the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy. From looking at how the stars move in the Milky Way, we suspect that the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy has actually crashed through the Milky Way a few times on its course of its orbit around the galaxy. It came in about six billion years ago, hit the disk hard about two billion years ago, and crashed again about a billion years ago. And our gravity has pulled it out into a gigantic looping stream of stars that is moving in and out of our Milky Way. The war is not over. The insurgent galaxy will return. When galaxies interact, often they're caught in this huge cosmic dance where they revolve around each other a few times or they even crash through each other and then come back around. The Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy looks like it's crashing in with ever increasing frequency. A new skirmish could take place in the next hundred million years. So, should we be worried about these attacks? Because the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy is so small compared to the Milky Way, it will do some damage at the beginning, but because we're so massive, we can absorb the impact. I mean, this galaxy, it's looking for a fight, but it's also 10,000 times smaller than us, so this is gonna be no sweat at all. So far, the Milky Way has been victorious. But the danger isn't over. We are surrounded by enemies. Our local neighborhood of galaxies has three major galaxies, but up to 50 smaller ones. All these galaxies are potential troublemakers. Each one of these could be armies that rise up against us. The two most famous galaxies that orbit the Milky Way are the Large and Small Magellanic Clouds. These are two independent dwarf galaxies that you can see in the night sky from the Southern Hemisphere. We thought the large Magellanic Cloud orbited our galaxy at a safe distance of 160,000 light years. We thought it would stay that way, and we thought it was harmless. Now, a new discovery shows we were wrong on all counts. The new factor that changed our view of the Magellanic Cloud is we found out it has a lot more dark matter than we thought. Dark matter, the most mysterious stuff in the universe. Uh, dark matter is literally what it sounds like. It's matter that we cannot see, but it has gravity and can affect objects that we can see. Adding in this extra dark matter, makes the Large Magellanic Cloud at least twice as massive as predicted. So its gravity is double what we thought. It's secretly been gathering allies, has been gathering dark matter on its side, and now it's a much bigger threat than we thought before. So it's not just going to orbit us, it's gonna collide with the Milky Way. Moving at nearly a million miles an hour, the large Magellanic Cloud will not swing past us. It will attack. The large Magellanic Cloud is one-tenth the mass of the Milky Way. That's enough to make a pretty big punch. In about two and a half billion years, it will smash into our galaxy. It's gonna plow through the disk of the Milky Way. It's gonna blow a cavity. It might even damage our spiral arms. Earth sits in one of those spiral arms. 
Could our planet become collateral damage? If the Large Magellanic Cloud passes through the plane of our galaxy near our location, that could have dire consequences. The gravitational clash between the invader and the Milky Way could hurl stars and planets out of our galaxy. Earth could be one of them. Our planet's very close to its own star, so the odds are that you'll just get ripped out along with your star. So we'd be moving along with the sun even as the sun gets jettisoned from our galaxy. And it'll move off out into intergalactic space. And that's not terrible. I mean, it's not gonna get destroyed, but it's a little lonely. Our view of the night sky would radically change. We'd be able to see much more of the Milky Way, especially if we got kicked up above the plane of the galaxy. We'd be able to see the whole shebang. Just look at any image of a spiral galaxy. They're gorgeous. Now imagine seeing your night sky filled with the face on spiral galaxy. <laughs> that would be like waking up to my face every morning. Spectacular. <laughs> If we were unlucky, our home planet could have a close encounter with an invading star. The odds are very low that another star will pass close by the sun. But those odds aren't zero. It could happen that another star passes close enough to affect the planets. And if that were to happen, it could upset the delicate balance in the solar system. We don't know where the Earth could end up. It might find its way into the sun. You just don't know. Or there might just be a rain of comets into our inner solar system. Our own planet might be flung out, in which case this would be a death knell for all life on Earth. I'm not someone who's like a doom and gloom person, but like that would be insane. You don't know what's gonna happen, but most of the options are bad. All these nightmare scenarios will extinguish life. Earth might survive, but our cosmic zip code will take a severe beating. The Milky Way galaxy is bigger than the Large Magellanic Cloud, so we are gonna win, but it's gonna hurt us for a long time. The Large Magellanic Cloud will leave our galaxy battered, bruised, but ultimately undefeated. But there's a far bigger threat looming over the Milky Way. It's gonna face an opponent that it can't defeat. Will this mega collision be the Milky Way's last stand? <laughs> <laughs>